going on guys welcome back to another one uh, got a, a bit of an exciting one here today for you guys so ever since I had the classic uh, pretty much my number one asked question whether it be on here on YouTube or my Instagram is how I did the uh, light switches or the uh, the lights for the switches on the classic and I'm actually gonna do the same thing to the uh, W9 today so I figured I'd kind of uh, go through it with you guys and, and you know show you how I do them in case somebody wants to, to do them yourself. Um, so what I got is, so here's a little mini dim switcher. So all this stuff I got off of Amazon. Um, I'll see if I can find the links and put them in the descriptions below for you guys. See if anybody wants them. Make it nice and easier for you. Uh, so this is the dimmer knob. So all it really is is just a, a three wire hookup. So it's got power ground and then uh, the white that goes to the dim, I believe. I'll look it through the, uh, you know, the manual, obviously. But uh, and it comes with two separate knobs, a black one and then a, a aluminum one, depending on you know your dash layout or what color you want. Um, so this, you pretty much drill a hole on the dash. In my case, there's a hole there already. Um, you put it through, you take the, uh, the nut, and then you secure it through, and then you put this or whichever knob you choose to go with over top of it. And then this works as a on and off switch, but also a dim switch if you want it bright or, uh, or dimmer. Um, I highly suggest that you do use one of these. You don't have to. You can go directly with the... Uh, um, you can hook it up with like the gauges and stuff like that and, and work off the dim switch like that, but... The lights for these are, are pretty bright um, and if you do that you'd have to run the uh, gauges pretty low to be able to you know not kind of uh, you know glare yourself through just the windows and stuff on the truck so I highly recommend putting a, a separate one a separate dimmer switch for that and then the lights that I use is that now all these are these are just universal uh, license plate lights or whatever you want to use it for. So um, the LED is on the bottom side of it. It's just a two wire hookup, power and ground. So you drill a hole in the panel and then you put this on, you put the nut behind it and then it shines, the light shines down to whatever you need it to shine on. Um, you know, as much as I'd love to take credit for, you know, me coming up with invention, it's, it's not mine. Um, what I actually got the idea from and, and the inspiration is old aircraft. Um, whether it be general, uh, general aviation, which is your little propeller, you actually hear them all over the place. There's a, a little uh, airport out here, not, not too far. Uh, or, you know, the, the older generation of, of the big jets or whatever. So, because the lighting back then wasn't great, um, actually, even for the gauges, a lot of time what they used is a light like this. And let's say, so actually this is my pyro gauge, I put a new one in, uh, in the truck because this was, was having issues. So say this was the gauge itself on the aircraft and then you would have a light or two that would kind of shine like that on it. And that's how they did the lighting on the gauges and also on the, uh, on the switches. So I got that idea from that or their inspiration from that and I did it on my trucks. I, I truly loved uh, how it turned out on the Classic. So I'm going to do the same thing to the W9, but also it's, it's a good opportunity, like I said, because so many of you have asked how I've done them, kind of a, a you know, two birds, one stone type situation. Alright guys, so here's my dash. Um, now, what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to put um, one light right here, and this will be for these, and then I'll put one right here. Um, for the rest of, of that just so that they're kind of like uniform and then I'll put one right over here for the rest of the, the switches and that's for the switches up here so the switches here these are for the suspension actually uh, front and rear and then these two one is for the floor lights and then the other one is to turn the rest of the lights I have dual revolution lights all over the truck and to turn those uh, on to blue and then on the um, ignition switch itself what I'll probably end up doing is I'll put one two three and then one directly over the ignition 
for. Now one thing you kind of do have to take into account you guys when you do this stuff is obviously what you have uh, behind the panels here, right? So in this case, either you got to trim this plastic too to make that work if you got to put them high here enough, uh, which is not a big deal. You just got to make sure you don't go over that channel right there because that's, you know, obviously you don't want it to, to be exposed. And also behind it, make sure there's, you know, nothing that, that's going to be uh, uh, messed up because of that. So like I said, on this one I got plenty of room, so I'll put them one, two, three, and one right there, four. Um, obviously, the three here. Uh, the center is going to be a little bit of a, a a bit of a pain in the butt, uh, to be honest with you guys, just simply because how many switches there is there. Well, I don't like this, the fact that there's nothing on the bottom uh, over here for the, the trailer and the tractor. Uh, break so I'm actually gonna put one um, facing down but facing that way down there um, and then over here by where the AC controls are there's really no good place to put them um, I can put you know sort of on top here and then have go you know one this way and one this way um, I'd have to see how much they protrude if they do um, then I'll, I may actually do that um, I kind of like that idea and then I'll put one here which is both um, for the uh, wiper blades and this is the actual uh, timer for the engine shutdown uh, so when you stop by you don't have to wait for the truck to kind of like let it run and, and uh, um, let kind of all the temperatures come down I've talked about it in my videos before I always do it so if you got to go somewhere right away you turn that knob to whatever minutes you want it and then you just turn off the ignition the truck and then once this goes off, it's just a timer, it, it shuts the, uh, the truck off. And then up here, um, I'm going to have to only go up here. I was thinking of putting some in between the switches here. The problem is how, uh, how the switches themselves are on the back side of it. Uh, there's really no way you could do that. So I'm going to do one, two, three, and there should be enough for the rest of those and then I'll do uh, one each right here and then I'll put one right here for, for the rest of it and I think this should be this should be okay um, I don't think it'll be um, too cluttered uh, too cluttered up now I do have uh, switches up there those are for the uh, the top lights and the reason why I don't want to do anything to that is and I could do them upside down uh, but I don't really want to because of that chrome piece there. You kind of get too much glare uh, coming down from it. Um, so I'm not going to put anything there. I'm just going to leave those uh, uh, the way they are. And then right here is where I'm going to put the dimmer switch. All right, so let me get uh, kind of situated here, you guys, and then uh, we'll get to it.
All right, guys, so as far as getting this thing done, uh, there's three wires that come out of the uh, dimmer switch and there's two wires that come out of the LEDs. The two wires out of LEDs, in this case, they're red and black. Red being positive, black being negative. Could also be white and black. Uh, for most applications, it's gonna be red and black, black being ground, red being uh, positive power. Um, if you get specific stuff for semi-trucks, uh, white is typically ground and black is, is typically power which is a little bit as backwards but in the anyway in this case out of the switch the black goes to uh, ground the red goes to battery uh, in this case i'm actually going to use this switch here since it wasn't being used for anything um, and i'll give power to that uh, with that switch um, out of the led the red goes directly to the same positive to the same red that's getting connected for the switch and then the white goes to the black on the um, LED so the ground is actually what controls the, the dimming so let me get uh, everything hooked up real quick uh, test it and then I'll just you know solder it and tape it afterwards but So I'm going to test this here real quick guys, just make sure if you're not insulating anything, in this case I don't want to insulate anything or solder anything until I test everything, so um, switch is on and off, works, and then the dimmer switch, right there, goes to work. And I have one here that's not turning on, so I don't know if it's a bad LED or what, but I gotta hunt that down and see what's up. All right, guys, um, here's what we ended up with. There's one there. There's five up here. There's one under here for the parking brakes. I ended up not putting anything here just simply because there's really not a whole lot of room back there. Um, so I didn't want to mess with anything. Up here I decided to go with just two and then I angled them this way. That should be enough. And then down here I ended up with four. There's a dim switch for this. And there's an on switch. I'm actually really happy with how it turned out you guys. Let me know what you think. bezel fell off so I took it out just to remind myself I have another one at home. I um, also ended up changing the pyro gauge to a new gauge there. Uh, that one's also blue but the ignition has got to be on for that. switch you can dim them or turn them like right down or turn them off if you want so if you run so the that's why I said earlier in the video if you run the dimmer or the lights directly from the um, gauges problem is when the gauges are full like they are now which they're not bright bright uh, look how bright these LEDs are um, and then when you dim this when you dim this down to like have this manageable which should be like around here this is going to be completely off so that's why you want them separate uh, the way you control this separately and if you want to shut them off you can shut them off but um, yeah those are like really really bright even on the Freightliner uh, being purple I didn't run them all the way uh, just way too bright yeah i'm happy with how that turned out you guys um hopefully it makes you know things maybe easier on, on you guys if you want to do the same thing um like i said earlier in the video i'll try to find the uh 
links to those uh, you know from what I ordered them myself and I'll put them in the description uh, below anyway in any way you guys um, as always thank you so much for your support really uh, means means a whole lot honest to God I, I, I don't you know I, I don't possess the vocabulary to, to express my, my gratitude towards you guys, honestly. I'm not just saying that to blow sunshine on people's asses. I'm not one of them guys. Um, but anyway, um, that's it for this one. Like I said, hope you enjoy it. Hope it makes things easier for you guys. If you want to do the same thing to your trucks or cars or bikes, hell, you can do it on anything. Boats. Um, the concept is the same. Anyway, thanks again, you guys. Thank you. If you're new to the channel and you like what you see, please consider subscribing. Hit the notification bell thumbs up or thumbs down if you don't like the video i understand and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one